bay in the Colombian Amazon. And I drank the first cup and I felt pretty good. A couple hours later, they were going to say to you, you should drink another cup or do you want another cup or don't drink another cup. I was going to show you around the house a little bit. Um, this is the room I'm currently starting in. It's a little bit of a mess. I cleaned up this morning. Um, here's like the living room area, the bathroom. Um, here's the other bedroom. Looks like just the other one. Um, living room. It's kind of like a screened in porch. And then this, my friends, is the view. We have a big side slash backyard that I'll show you in just a minute. I just gotta get some shoes on. Door. So my dad just recently made the deck. I think he's planning on baking a roof for it, but he just needs some extra hands because it's a little hard to do by yourself. But oh uh, yeah, this is the yard. Nice thing about this section right over here is that there's no neighbors. And well, never will be because that's like the public where you put your uh, dock, I guess. Where you can put in your boat. It's for you guys.
Getting like kicking off the unofficial start of summer with a kayak ride. So excited to go kayaking! Woohoo! Hey, uh, there is a farm nearby um, that's supposedly selling strawberries. Uh, so I'm gonna go check it out. It might not still be open because it's about 6.30 on a Saturday. So they might be closed, but I think it's okay. If not, strawberries! The one strawberry thing was closed. Finite. And it's about Slash, to I west, think I passed so it and missed it. Half a mile. So I'm just kind of street. taking the long <laughs> road home. The story about ayahuasca as well. Enjoy. This. GoPro stop recording. Ted Re you don't have to scare me, geez. Bullfrogs, day and night. Is this the course we hear? Dad looked it up. Mating season. Trying to get them some mates. Go frogs, go frogs. Hey, I've stopped at a winery. I'm um, gonna do a little bit of a tasting, hopefully. Uh, so, here we go. I'm gonna try to take radio on in here, but um, I'm trying to be slick about it because I don't know how they're gonna feel. So, yeah, here we go. Hey, I just got out. I got to film a little bit while I was in there, which is nice. Uh, but the lady was super sweet. I didn't get her name, unfortunately. But I was the only one in there when I walked in, and uh, so she, I got started first, and then a couple other people came in and made some friends. Um, everyone was from Chicago, which was funny. Um, Chicago lady. But yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, got some wine. Gonna take it home. So I'm gonna challenge myself and to see if I can make it back to the lake house without directions. I got myself to the highway. Um, I let myself use the directions to get to the highway, and now I have. I'm gonna do this from memory. Wish me luck. This could go really badly. My dad's about an hour and a half away. He might be beat me to the leaves. I'm hoping that's not the case. Here we go. <sighs> GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. So, using the map, but not the GPS, I've been able 
have to find out um, how to get back to the house. Um, essentially, know kind of where I'm at now. Um, I'm kind of proud of myself for that because normally I suck at reading maps. Ask me when they told me well. I am directionally challenged. So, um, I'm 90% sure I'm headed in the right direction. We'll see. Um, I'll uh, let you know in a couple minutes. <laughs> Stop recording. Guys, I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it. I made it to the house without Jeep. Yeah. What? We do it old school here at the lake. I've never been known as a fashionista, but this is a new low even for me. Got a freaking nerve and learn about it still